coming up now on the SPFL's official YouTube channel, the latest action from the championship, including back to winning ways for the league leaders. Aloha claim maximum points at Capolo. And it's a late win for Falkirk. Championship leaders Hamilton stayed clear of the chasing pack with a home win against Livingston. They had the ball on the net in the opening stages, but it was ruled out. It was an impressive save initially from Livingston's Darren Jameson, and the follow-up was deemed to be offside. Alec Nielside kept piling on the pressure, and they were awarded a penalty with just over half an hour played when Andy Barriman handled in the area. The striker didn't have much time to react when the ball was fired at him, but referee Des Roach was pointing to the spot. James Keating stepped up and scored to put the hosts ahead. The keeper guessed the right way, but he couldn't get a hand to the striker's effort. Great left foot finish from Keating's right in the corner. The former Celtic youngster doubled his tally for the afternoon midway through the second half to seal the win for Ackies. Ali Crawford's corner found its way into the six-yard area and Keating's got the important touch to knock the ball over the line. More disappointment for bottom side Morton, who were beaten 2-0 at home by Alloa. The visitors finished the first half strongly, and four minutes before half-time, Graham Holmes struck them ahead. Despite plenty of Morton defenders being back and the best efforts of keeper Nicholas Carroll, Holmes put away the ball at the second attempt. Paul Hartley's men sealed the win with a second goal just the other side of half-time. The Wasp worked the ball forward well, and Michael Doyle's cross was met by Andy Kirk, who made it 2-0. Good move down the right flank, and the precision cross finished, as only he knows best, into the back of the net, 2-0 to Alloa. The experienced striker was first to the ball and managed to direct it beyond the keeper. Falkirk moved up to third place in the championship with a narrow home win over Queen of the South. The main talking point of the first half came with 33 minutes played, when Derek Lyle gave away a free kick on the edge of his own box. Referee John Beaton booked the striker for an untidy challenge. The resulting free kick from Jay Fulton was handled in the area by Ian McShane, and the referee had to award a penalty. It looked like a clear decision, and another yellow card for the visitors. Rory Loy finishing from the spot kick, Sending Kalamantle the wrong way. Loy putting the Bairns 1-0 up. Jim McIntyre's men came right back into the contest with an equaliser 12 minutes into the second half. It was a stunning strike from Ian Russell after he was set up by Derek Lyle. Brilliant goal, Lyle picking out his strike partner on the edge of the area and Russell had time to take a touch before following beyond Michael McGovern. Falkirk's winner of five minutes from time came after Queen surrendered possession. The Bairns broke forward quickly and Rory Loy finished low into the bottom corner for his second goal of the game. The former Carlisle striker looked to be surrounded, but his low drive was too powerful for the stranded Queen of the South keeper. Dundee made it back-to-back -back victories for the first time this season when they came out on top away to Cowdenbeath. Craig Beatty's superb finish put them ahead ten minutes before half-time. 
A well-travelled striker showed great vision when he lobbed the ball over keeper Thomas Flynn and wandered off his line. John Brown's men only made the point safe eight minutes from time. A goal was created by Peter McDonald, who burst down the left wing before laying the ball on a plate for Ryan Conroy. Lovely precision pass and a cool, calm and composed finish from Conroy. Here's how the fixtures look this weekend. In the Championship, Alloa host Falkirk. Dundee are at Dumbarton. Leaders Hamilton travel to Greenock to face Morton. And at Palmerston, it's Queen of the South versus Cowden B. In League One, it's a broth taking on Airdrionians. East Fife welcome Air United to Bayview. Four for host Ra. And at Oakle View, it's Stenhouse Muir versus Brecon. Finally, in League Two, Berwick are at home to Elgin and Peter Head take on Clyde at Balmore. We'll have the best of the action from these matches next time on the SPFL's official YouTube channel.